Do you know if your dog is trainable, or do you have a canine Einstein on your hands? Ah, the questions that keep pet parents up at night. Maybe your pup seems to have the concentration span of a goldfish, or perhaps they are the Mozart of mischief, composing symphonies of chaos with every opportunity. But fear not, dear dog owners, whether your fur baby is a little fluff ball or a big beast, a rambunctious rookie or a seasoned snoozer, there's hope for all. You see, every dog, regardless of their quirks and qualities, is capable of learning new tricks. Sure, it might take a bit of patience, a dash of creativity, and a whole lot of treats, but with the right approach, even the most stubborn of pups can become the Beethoven of behavior. So, let's embark on a journey to decipher the Da Vinci Code of dog training, shall we? Now you might be thinking, I can't even train my kids to clean their room, how am I supposed to train a puppy? Well, fear not, because puppy training isn't as daunting as it sounds. It's all about the three P's, persistence, patience, and praise. Yes, you heard it right, just like you wouldn't expect your toddler to ace algebra, you can't expect your pup to master all commands in a day. It's a gradual process, so buckle up and enjoy the ride, let's break it down. Persistence is key in training your puppy. You need to be consistent with your commands and expectations. Remember, repetition is the mother of learning, and that applies to puppies too. Patience is equally crucial. Some days your pup might act like the next lassie, while on others it might seem he's forgotten everything. Don't fret, it's all part of the process. Just keep calm and carry treats. Speaking of treats, we come to our third P, praise. Positive reinforcement is the golden ticket in puppy training. Reward your pup's good behavior with treats, petting, or words of encouragement. A simple, good boy, can work wonders. And before you start imagining your pup fetching your slippers or brewing your morning coffee, remember, it's essential to start with the basics. Sit, stay, come down. These are the building blocks of your training journey. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and your pup won't learn to fetch your slippers overnight. And for those of you with a pint-sized pup or a big old woofer, fret not. Let's debunk a myth right here, right now. Size doesn't determine trainability. Whether you're dealing with a feisty chihuahua or a docile Great Dane, every breed has the potential to learn and grow. See, it's not about the size of the dog in the training, but the size of the training in the dog. Small breeds aren't less trainable and large breeds aren't more stubborn. They just have different needs and personalities. And it's not a one-size-fits-all scenario either. Your dog is as individual as you are. Some dogs understand commands better, while others excel in agility. Some may be food-motivated, others could be toy-driven. It's about understanding these unique traits and tailoring your training approach accordingly. So whether your dog could fit in a teacup or takes up the entire couch, every dog has the potential to be a good boy or girl. So, there you have it folks. Training your puppy, whether a tiny terrier or a lumbering lab, is all about patience, perseverance, and a good sense of humor. And remember, Every puppy is a prodigy in their own special way. It's not about creating the next canine Einstein, but about nurturing a bond of understanding and friendship. So go on, unleash the inner genius of your furry friend. And remember, even if they're not the next canine Einstein, they're still the best dog in the world to you.